We just, we just met, right? We just met. Come over here and sit down for a minute. If you wouldn't mind, would you take your shoes and your socks off? Can't wash your shoes, so I'm gonna have to wash your feet. And just put your feet in this tub. Now, let me explain something to you. I want you to get this because this is, this is powerful. I want you to get this because this is what Jesus did. And if you get this, you'll understand this. Jesus would wash his disciples' feet. Now, why did he wash the feet? Because the feet were the dirtiest part of the body. They, they, had, they had sandals back. They didn't wear shoes like we wear. They had sandals, so their feet were always the dirtiest. And so Jesus took the lowest part of the body, the nastiest part of the body, the part of the body that no human would want to touch, and he put his hands on them. And he started washing them. And then he said, I want you to do this. And he says, as you see me doing this? He says, I want you to do this for others. So in the modern day, it would kind of look like this. If you put your feet in the tub, it would kind of look like this. He would take their, if they had a robe or whatever, he'd roll it up here. You got big calves, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would pick somebody with big calves. <laughs> All right. And here's what he might do. He might do today. He might do this today. He might say, you know, this is an unusual situation we're in. <laughs> Whoever sees an old white guy kneeling before a young black guy, that just doesn't happen anymore. Most guys my age, we sit back in recliners and we just judge you. We say all kinds of things privately that nobody ever hears. And then we say them publicly too. <sighs> and before Jesus, that's how I was. But when Jesus came into my heart, I started seeing you differently. I started seeing you through the lens of God instead of the lens of my flesh and realizing that I probably haven't done the best by you in this country. And I need to repent to you. I need to ask you to forgive me. And I don't need just you to ask to forgive me. I need any race that I've oppressed to forgive me because I know that you'll never see healing to accept responsibility for the things that have happened in our country. For our country to be great it's not about the prosperity of our nation. It's not how much money we can make and great houses we can live in, cars we can drive. What makes our country great is not our entrepreneurship, our ingenuity, our ability to win wars. What makes our country great is God and our submission to him. And because we haven't always submitted to him and we've kind of, lived our own lives in independence, rebellion, we've had a lot of trouble between us. And maybe I haven't been the best at expressing to you that you're valuable to me. You're as valuable to me as I am to myself and you have value that I haven't always given you. So I wanna show you something. See, I'm gonna take the lowest part of your body the part that nobody wants to, to touch. I'm gonna put my hands on him. And I'm doing this because I want you to understand I don't think I'm better than you. I don't think I'm more valuable than you. And I want you to grow up in an America where you as a young black man from another country feel just as valued as I do as a white man from this country. I want you to experience that value coming from me and I want you to experience it coming from other Americans that are like me. And I want you to grow up in America where you're not afraid. You're not afraid of people, you're not afraid of racism, you're not afraid of being treated unjustly or unfairly. I want you to grow up in America where people like me and people like you sit down and have dinner together where our children play together, where we can do life together and be one together 
The only way that happens is Jesus. Jesus has to be at the center of our relationship. So, may your feet be cleansed and may our hearts be cleansed this year. And let this year be a starting point for us. Because I don't think it's gonna happen in the government. I don't think it's gonna happen in politics. In fact, I think if anything, that's gonna cause more division. But I think it's possible that it could happen in the church if we just start washing each other's feet instead of judging each other.